I know that the legacy media will really smear Aaron Rodgers, just as they have been for the past couple of years, for the things they said about the pandemic or about mandatory jabs, et cetera, et cetera, saying that he's a conspiracy theorist. But it's moments like this when he shares what he's thinking and what he's seeing so candidly that make me think, I really believe that the hand of God is on this guy, and I don't know where he stands with God, but he is seeing something, a tsunami wave that's coming towards America that the world isn't prepared for. And quite frankly, I don't think the church is prepared for. This is stuff that we're seeing, uh, we're, we see and read about in Revelation about the Antichrist. This guy is blowing the whistle on some of the patterns that he's seeing. So I'm going to play this clip for you real quick of what he's sharing, what he's observing, what he's concerned about, specifically in the world of social credit systems. And then I'm going to share with you a couple of clips of things that are actually happening today in China that show that this is really, it's a, it's on our front doorstep. It's right around the corner for us. So this is important. It's going to be a really important video for us to check out. So stick around to the end and um, let's, let's see what Aaron Rodgers has to say and I'll give some commentary. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Yeah, stop spying on me. Yeah. Get off my computer, get off my cameras, get off my ring camera, you know, take down all this stupid fucking CCTV cameras everywhere that are watching everything. And because the next step to all of this, if people don't realize this, and this is the fucking facts, is China and what's going on there and social credit scores and the entire life monitored. Like that's where we're going slowly. Jordan Peterson said, uh, was doing an interview and talked about how does, you know, I can't remember what the conversation was, but I heard him say this. How does corruption um, uh, take form when it's so obvious? It's slow movements. It's like barely inching towards, you know, total uh, corruption and obedience where you don't really see it coming. Next thing you know, like, oh, I have no other option but to get a chip in my hand or totally. uh, have a social credit score that allows me to, you know, fly in a plane. If I don't have a good one, then I got to ride on a bus or, or a train or a cab or, you know, I can drive, you know, they want all electric cars. I can I'll show you, you what know, he's talking about shortly because you, your post on Facebook, uh, you know, kind of violated the uh, government standard here. And also we're going to uh, freeze your bank account or only let you, you know, eat at this restaurant. Uh, sorry, eat at the, you know, get groceries from this store, not like the nice, you know, organic store. You have to eat this shit over here or eat insects or whatever the hell. The Oreo be. store. Yeah. We're, Lucky Charms. we're not far from that if we don't like stand for, for civil liberties. And people are always like, you know, when I talk about, cause I'm always been a big proponent of, of Ed Snowden and people are like, well, I have nothing to hide. And I'm like, that is the fucking worst answer because I don't have anything to hide either, <laughs> but I want my privacy and you don't understand. You think the government is going to stop at what they're doing now? They're not going to stop with this. They're inching closer to, to be in 1984 where they have a crazy. set in your, some sort of TV set in your house that watches you. Make sure you get up and do your 10 push ups. Well, think about like even right now, like if you have, we have these devices that are literally connected to the cloud all the time. We know that they're listening to what we're saying, at least for ad purposes. You don't think that the government's going to be using that at some point if they're not already using that. Now think about this. You get like something like Simply Safe or you like a ring um, camera for your doorbell. But specifically, if you can get one of those indoor cameras, right? It sounds like a great security device. You put an indoor camera in your house and you could see if somebody were to break in and and you were able to contact the authorities and show them the picture of the person that broke in. But if it's connected to Wi-Fi, then anybody could really hack into your system and watch anything that you're doing inside of your own home. So yeah, I, I understand what people say too about, well, I have nothing to hide, but you you are a sovereign being. I am a sovereign being. We we should fight to protect our privacy like never before. And he's exactly right. Government's number one goal is to grow, is to continue to grow. Every organization's number one goal is to continue to grow. And the government's going to want to continue to grow and and leverage that authority to control people's lives. And this is an example of that. So this is uh, this is what's happening in China right now. This is China's social credit score. Aaron Rodgers just made a comment about how, you know, if you 
If you say the wrong thing, maybe you're not going to be able to fly a plane. You'll have to stick to a bus. They were literally trying to do this, by the way, with the jabs. You remember that in 2020? They said if you don't have a, a VAX card, you you might not be able to fly commercial. Yes. <laughs> you might not be able to go into certain restaurants or whatever. This was literally this literally happened just a few years ago. And if we don't think that th- this is some sort of rollout to make sure that we are all moving in that direction and people are asleep, people are asleep at the wheel. But look at what's literally happening in China these days in regards to the social credit system. Talk about getting canceled. You think it's bad now if you were to say something online and then someone were just like a platform were just to remove your social media profile. Imagine if when you say something that the government doesn't want you to say, for example, let's say you're preaching about Jesus and they don't want you to preach about Jesus anymore. And then they say, okay, well now we're going to, we're going to take that negative offense And we're going to apply that to your social credit system, your social credit information, so that when you go to apply for a loan or, you know, you want to put your kids in school or whatever, then, you know, that's going to be taken into consideration. It might be that you don't actually get those privileges because of your social credit. This, I mean, don't get me started on why it's so important that Christians today are learning how to build their own businesses, are learning how to train their own kids. Like stop sending your kids to the public indoctrination systems or public schools. You and I need to learn how to be established on our own two feet in the midst of the culture that we live in right now. Hi. But it gets even wilder. So look over here. So I'm going to show you another clip right here of China. So imagine going to the grocery store and... You don't have a card. You don't have cash. You know what you can use instead? You can use your face because it will recognize your face. You don't have money. You don't have card. You don't have a And make a form. withdrawal for you. You can still make payments in a supermarket in China. Let's give it a try. So today I went to the supermarket. I bought several stuffs. And yeah, let's see what comes out. After I click go to payment, it gives me an option to scan my face and just in a second, the payment's done. What do you guys think? Do you think it's amazing technologies or do you think it's sort of weird and unnecessary? Please comment and let me know. I think it's sus. It's super sus. And the fact that people don't see it, like people in the comments are like, oh, that's so convenient. Now I don't need to bring my credit card, which is literally this big and it's a piece of plastic. I get, I get how like technology advancements are cool and convenient, but the point is, is that Let's say, for example, if your whole system, your whole your whole social credit or whatever, is connected to your your own uh, your own face, like they can tell your own face, and they have all these surveillance cameras everywhere. You could be anywhere. You could be in your own home and say something or do something that the government doesn't want you to do, and boom, they already have access to everything they could stop your ability to you they could stop your ability to pay for groceries for crying out loud this is a problem this is this is not a light issue this is this is something that we need to wake up to we need to like it's like his his uh, analogy about this system is really a spirit there's a there's an antichrist spirit behind all of this that's the reality of this it's a bigger than a government problem it's not a political problem this is the antichrist spirit making way for the antichrist to be established and it's happening right before our eyes and people are just like they're just scrolling on tiktok doing their tiktok dances they're not paying attention to any of this stuff oh that's cool that's really convenient that sounds great now we got to we got to pay attention to what's going on here. Ten sit ups. We're going to watch every aspect of your life. We're going to give you a social credit score. We're going to create. I mean, it's a fucking great book to read. It was written in 1949, and it, how many how accurate it is today. Literally, the Ministry of Truth. We had the we literally had a, a government organization that was censoring 
free speech and and categorizing things as misinformation there was a uh, there was a ministry of truth czar who was making decisions based on what they thought was acceptable language uh, yeah they literally tried to do checking. that in our own country i meant like to to dispel misinformation these people these this few select amazingly wise people way wiser than you and me we're going to be the ones who are going to tell us whether something was true or not true Oh, gosh. We need the Holy Spirit more than ever, guys. Bullshit. Like, we're not far from 1949, from that book, 1984, which was written in 1949, um, if we don't take a stand for our civil liberties. And This is what it says in Revelation 13, just so you guys know. This is like, this was prophesied in the Bible thousands of years ago. Look at what it says. This is Revelation 13. This is referring to when the Antichrist gets established. Verse 11. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of man. And he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and lived. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Oh, that's that's really fun. This is going to be a crazy time when this happens. Verse 16, he causes all, both small and great, watch this, here's the kicker, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom, let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, his number is 666. Okay, so we're not going to talk about who the Antichrist is because the Bible is clear that the Antichrist will not even be revealed. We won't know who it is until the Great Tribulation starts. Great Tribulation has not started yet. Trust me, you would know. You think things are bad now? You would know when the Great Tribulation starts. Hasn't happened yet, so there's really no point in us speculating too much on who the Antichrist is because nobody's going to know until it happens. But... Here's what I want you to pay attention to. This is the direction that the world is heading. And I want to get your attention here, man, because I, I got some good news. Okay, here's the good news. If you're a Christian, the good news is that God rescues his people from this situation. God rescues those who have put their faith in Jesus Christ. Yes, there's going to be difficulty in the world. Yes, we're experiencing obstacles and there's persecution and we'll continue to experience that. But God is a rescuer and God is a protector. And my encouragement to you, if you're in Christ, is to not grow weary, not be afraid. God, God has given provision for us for protection, specifically to rapture and rescue the church from the earth. But here's my challenge to you. If you're not a believer, I want to challenge you. You might, you might have been, you stumbled on this video thinking that I'm crazy, that all this stuff's crazy. But I want it. I really want you to be thinking about this. Think about how over the past few years, think about how much of our freedom has been compromised. How much of our freedom has been taken away from us inch by inch? We're getting to this place now where we don't even know what truth is. The people who are telling us that there isn't a clear definition of what a woman is are the people who are trying to tell us what truth is. I'm telling you today, you can come out of confusion and come into collision with the truth that will set you free. God is not a liar. God is the author of of clarity. The devil is the father of lies and he's the author of confusion. But what God desires for you and for me is to come to this place of repenting, turning from this wide path that leads to destruction and confusion that everybody's going down. He wants you to collide with truth himself. His name is Jesus Christ. If you don't have a saving relationship with him, if you're not in right standing relationship with God, you're dead where you stand. You're condemned where you stand. But God wants to set you free. And so to make sure that you can be set free and you are prepared for the things that are coming towards this world, I have another video at the end of this one that will teach you whether or not you will be in right standing with God when you die, whether you're going to go to hell with all of 
you know, all of Satan and his and his demonic angels and receive the punishment that they deserve as well as most of the world that doesn't that doesn't want to follow God? Or will you spend eternity in heaven with God and, and all of God's people because you've received the free gift of salvation? Click that video, go watch that, and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Otherwise, if the other people, you've already have a great relationship with God. Let me know what you think about this. Are there other things that you're seeing that we need to be paying attention to? Let me know down below. And guys, subscribe for more. My mission is pretty simple, to take back media from the devil and reveal the glory of God in every glowing screen. So continue to help support as we push this content forward, trying to flood the internet with truth, this with spirit and truth, and uh, every subscription makes a big difference. Cool? Hey, God bless you guys. Thanks so much. Let me know again what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.